day number two, uh, Saturday. So this is the actual like hoopty day or whatever it's supposed to be called, the $3,000 challenge. I want to try to put my truck in it. I have like a 90% chance of not getting in because I'm a short bed and I have a pretty nice motor. But I'm gonna try it anyways. But yeah, we got our trailers. So now I can uh, break my truck and not have to worry about it, which is cool. Shout out to my buddy Timmy, he took it all the, all the way out here. So my truck will probably go on this by the end of the day just because there's no reason to drive it home and make wear and tear for no reason. But then we got Michael over here. All of our stuff is chilling in our pit spot. We got a really good spot yesterday, so we didn't want to lose it. So we left my truck, the T-Bird, and the trailer, and all of our, like, basically most of our stuff in our pit spot. So we should be able to go right back in there, rightly up front. So we're going to head over there, get set up, and get that trailer in there. And basically have one giant pit, so it should be pretty good. And then uh, basically from there, put a bunch of 110 octane in my truck and just start turning it up and see if we can run a 13. So let's get into it. Is this that coming swap? Yeah. Fucking vinyl. Well, that is uh, 10 gallons of 110 octane. This is $40, $40 and that's eight, like almost 80 for the California version because California. And this is probably better and it's half the price. So we're gonna start with this. And this is gonna do one of two things. This is either gonna make my truck faster or I'm gonna window the block. One of two things is gonna happen. They're both pretty good. Oh yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells very good. I've never put race fuel in my truck before. Well, we're gonna try it anyways. Cross this one off the <laughs> Yeah, never. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh. Ping. Hi, Timmy. truck so you got to keep that in mind when I'm shifting it like that but man that was fun thank you 14 6 yeah I spun that's why it was slower man that felt fun yeah another point one line I'm doing pretty consistent lights at least holy crap dude 
Yeah, it's hotter out too, so I gotta keep that in mind. Damn, that sounded good. This thing, the noises it's making are just like crazy to me because it, it's never made these noises before. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Damn, this thing sounds cool. I don't care if it's slow. It sounds wicked. I'd say I like the timing, but yeah, it's definitely hotter out. I'm sweating in this suit. I wasn't sweating yesterday. Yeah, put the clutch in. There you go. There, there you go. Hey, it runs enough. 104 low. Look at him, Tiger. I need AOD parts. Nice. So yesterday he did a little sitter out on the wall with that thing and it hit third gear. And the thing was just barreling out smoke. So I don't know how hard he's going to go with it this time. I know he's going to do it again later uh, when the sun goes down, but he was waiting for some sort of a crowd. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. He's, uh, he's pretty good with that thing. I think she's warm now, huh? Is that right, McLean? There you go. Oh, uh, those were new. Hey, she'll, hit, she'll hit the 8 West just fine. <laughs> nice and sticky now. Yeah, go do a pass. Yeah, I think it's a 10 second car now. Still got yeah. plenty of thread. You're definitely stuck in second because it like doesn't want to. Two, three, dude. That's not one, two. Yeah, it was. You weren't first at all there. Yeah. But yeah, look at that. Look at Cheech. Nice. Good on you. Whipping the open dip. We need to get a spool in this thing. Still does pretty good once I get it moving. Get the wheels be gone? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Hell yeah. Well, hey, that's my buddy Shane out here with an original 70 Bob. Oh, that's so cool. I've yet to see this thing in person. I haven't wanted to. Oh, look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, what a guy. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. That's so awesome. What a treat. Go all the way out to Arizona just to see this thing. I mean, look at that floor. That is something you don't see. And this is a real boss, real two. All original. Oh, yeah. And it gets driven too, which is rad. Yeah, look at that strength. That is so rad. One of my favorite cars here, for sure. That is so cool. Hell yeah. I'll put his Instagram up on the screen. He has a lot of different classic cars that are really cool. He goes from cover jets to bosses and all sorts of everything in between. Make sure you follow his Instagram because you're not going to want to miss some of the stuff that he finds all over Arizona and uh, definitely some rare for it. So check it out. Wow. Don't need to paint that engine, babe. Because you can't buy anything from like O'Reilly's for this car. Well, you can, but it's not the right stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And on this car, you have to have the right stuff. It's so close to being all done right that you got to buy the right stuff. Yeah. No, you're right. So the snorkel I need, the rev limiter I need, the fuel pump is probably 600 bucks. Yeah. That is crazy for a that's fuel crazy. pump. That's, that's so Was it a shipper? I had it. Look at that. What a treat. 
Alright. Well, this is gonna be interesting. So, this is not power router. This should be NA, I think. I hope it's not power router. It, it is NA. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, so, this is the like sub $3,000 like crappy car class. I'm gonna try to get my truck in because I would assume like Freiburger, who's judging it, has not seen my truck before. But I think me being a short bed is gonna kill it. And I think just the aesthetic, they look in the engine bay, I'm done, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna do. But we just figured for fun, we're gonna try it anyways and see what they say. I would laugh hysterically if they just absolutely just rained on my parade in the last six years of me building this and just flushed it down the toilet. But uh, I'm just curious what they say. So, for the video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run up. And you never know, we might get in. We're kind of at the back of the line, so we might get in but I, I highly doubt it we're gonna try it anyways though all right so some of the other cars we got it's a 95 mr2 a ranger again this is your final call and a car going to be a car going this thing's wild yeah i think this is worth a little bit more than three grand What's your plan? What's your goal time? Well, it's a little cooler now. The sun's just setting, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing I did. I'm gonna probably dump the clutch around five grand, uh, or slip it hard around five grand, and then I'm gonna try to get like a 14.2. I think that's a realistic number. Uh, but this is just kind of a cooler air baseline, and then we're basically gonna go two degrees up in timing until it says I'm not happy anymore. So uh, yeah, this is our first pass. Hoping for like a 14.2. We'll see. So. Liv's coming around, we're gonna do a do a pair up next to each other. I'm probably gonna, intentionally gonna get beat by a girl, but it should be fun. I'm gonna play with her on the tree and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and rev the crap out of my truck so she gets a bad light, so check it out. All right, so it's gonna be Liv versus me. Uh, I'm gonna get beat by a girl. This is gonna be embarrassing, but I'm gonna rev the living shit out of it.
damn, I blew the tires off. Ah, I got, I got a little, a little bit puzzled when the, you know, the tree dropped and I just slipped a little too hard. Oh well, it was fun though. At least I got all my gears. Yeah, <laughs> got me by just that much. I just, I spun so bad. But yeah, that was fun. That was fun. All right. So we suckered Michael into swapping his rear tires to the front and putting the little crappy tires on the back and uh, letting her eat. So we're taking the jacks out right now. Jump on the ground. Drop it. All right, you ready? Yep. Go. Oh, dude, like nice. butter. Oh. Yeah, get in it, get in it, yeah. Yeah, Timmy, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shut the door, shut the door. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing. I lost the key. The you don't need him. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> hey, 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 you got a lot of Still, one of 11, 14, at 9 right. miles an hour. Please, Aids. Sean's riding his bumper, he's chilling. Oh, yeah, here comes Michael. Oh, that's, that, that looked great. He's a little black.
freaking Ulma, dude, that exhaust is glowing. Look at this exhaust. Oh my god, dude, exhaust is fluorescent red. Really? Yeah. That was sick. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro! Nice job. Good job. I'd say you did pretty good on that one. Look at the tires, they're still smoking. Really? There's still a tread. There's Even plenty better. of tread. Yeah, there's plenty of tread. Did you get warm at all? Yeah. Oh, you're oh, good. A little over half. Oh, oh, permanent you burnout. Can you still get a warranty on those? Fine. Dude, I got so much rubber in my eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> How'd you like that? Dude, that thing, the, that thing, the weight exchange is weird, man. Yeah. It just gets oh. Yeah, it was, oh. I was just cruising it when I was sliding the when wall. When it whips around? And all of a sudden yeah. it was just like, I was like, whoa, yeah. that's what I was hitting. Oh, the that, that, you would have got sick of my truck. I was truck. taking a snap trying to look up. I'm like, oh, K rail. Yeah. yeah. All right, swap the tires back, put her on the trailer. <laughs> All right, so I just ran live. Got, I mean, I have to, got, blew the doors off me like I expected. But I have to admit, I treat the hell out of you. I got an 04 light on a stick shift. So I did tree you, but then I blew the tires off, and then she continued to absolutely just blow the doors off me. So uh, I'd say a successful weekend, right? Very successful. Yeah. Well, so what was your fastest we, festival we of the whole weekend? Twelve seven, but I'm more stoked that it did like a little paper slipper. Yeah. I'll see if I can get a still shot of that foot because it, but it actually did do a wheel stand, which was pretty cool. So it's a wheelie, run twelves, yeah. and it still drives on the trailer, right? Hell yeah. yeah can't beat that. So, so much fun. But yeah, you guys have to watch some of our videos getting out here and getting the car prepped up. I'll put her tag on the screen and down in the description. You definitely aren't gonna want to miss. Some of the stuff that she's posting. Post a bunch of cool stuff on Instagram, get in the car. They also have an El Camino with a C6 speed. Yes. And uh, a bunch of other cool projects. So you definitely want to go check that out. Awesome seeing you guys again out here. Awesome. Day. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out here pretty soon again for the next event. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go over and we got one more special treat for you guys that I've, I've been holding on to you guys. So let's head to that real quick. All right. Well, I think it's about as fast as she's going to go for tonight. But uh, we figured we might as well end off tonight in the burnout pit. So, so we're going in, we're swapping to the little guys. And, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get him changed. Yeah, something. Yeah. Put her on the rim. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, well, we're gonna try the burnout pit, so let's see how that goes. Dude, you don't know how long I've been waiting for you to get in here? <laughs> I've been seeing you, like, since yesterday, yeah. right there parked, and I'm like, I hope he comes in here. I hope he comes in here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what it does. I'm not sure, but.
lap, it's at 220. Dude, I'm gonna do a cool down lap, it's at 220. Holy crap, that was a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to go get it to cool down a little bit. That was so much fun though. Oh my alignment's so effed. Oh my god, that super effed up the alignment. Alright, it's kind of hard to see. Go ahead. Yeah, look at the radio. Sure Watch out. Know. Watch your face. Oh, yeah. There ain't much left there. <laughs> Looking great. Hey. Yeah. Uh, she's only boiling over a little the bit. Left one almost. <laughs> you did a good number there, bud. Dude, it, it, it weight transferred so hard, my alignment's 90 degrees off now. It literally, like, when it flicked and like transferred like that, it literally ripped the like alignment out of whack. Oh, no that's, kidding. Yeah, that's where it's that at. Was, it sounded great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it sounded well, really good. Bad. So we drove at 500 miles here and ran 10 passes. Oh, it's a little bit toasty. Okay. And it's still running. Proper sound to make it toasty. Well, did you break it? Let's find out. Give it a little throw. He's getting red? Yeah. yeah. Let it chill for a bit. I think a little bit of everything's hot, bud. Get yeah. the ice bags. <laughs> yeah, the headers were probably red when I was doing that. More than likely. I should probably check the oil, make sure there's no water in it. Yeah, you'll be fine. No, no, there is. Yeah, that is perfect. Still. Fucking loose again. Oh, we're good. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're good. There ain't no water in the oil. We're fine. Oh, that was it. It's probably just getting out of my ass. Well, this, uh, this piece of junk still runs. We just started it. It runs just fine. It's just hot because I lost all the water after the burnout. I mean, look at it. It's literally everywhere. We got water in the engine bay, it's all over the firewall, it's all over the radiator, it's all over the motor, but like, I mean, I can't explain. Put this piece of junk motor together in my garage, and it still works, and it, I mean, it still runs. It was sitting at like 6,600 for like three minutes straight. Yeah. This, oh, I'm so proud of this piece of junk, it's amazing. Just goes to show what you can build in your garage. There are a bunch of people that tell you you're doing things wrong, just do it. If you know you're doing things right, prove it. And this piece of junk drove 500 miles, two states, 10 passes, beating the living crap out of it, 110 octane, 6600 RPM rev limiter, and it's still running. I don't care what anybody says, I don't really care if I built this thing right or wrong, it still runs, that's all that matters. So, I think it's a good spot to end today's video. Thank you guys a ton for watching. You, okay, that was really weird, but massive shout out to my big little crew chief, Sean, Timmy, Michael, Marty in the background, all yeah. these guys, they made it happen. You know, I can't thank them enough for all their help and support this entire weekend. Timmy bringing his truck all the way out here to tow my piece of junk home so we can do that burnout. Uh, Liv and Travis and all the other guys that I got to see out here, can't thank them enough. So, thank you guys a ton for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.